have a released four new motion effects that you can use to create eye-catching video animations or you can just use them to highlight a few elements on your designs or even your presentations. I'm gonna show you where to find these new tools from desktop but also from mobile so stay watching until the end. First, let me show you how to find these tools from desktop. You're going to open canva.com and you are going to create a new document. I'm going to go for an Instagram post square format. I'm going to create blank. So then Canva opens the editor. You're going to create your own design or if you want, you can work with a template available in Canva. I'm going to use this one right here and I would like to animate the flowers in the background. I would like to add one of these motion effects to the flowers in the background. So I'm going to click on one of these elements and then select animate. Pay attention to the lower section of the window that just opened. This is the section where you can find the new motion effects. And now let me show you the different effects that we have in here. The first one is going to make your element rotate. Then we have a flicker animation. We also have a pulse motion. And finally, a little wiggle. All of these four motion effects are available to all Canva users even if you have a free account. When you select any of these motion effects and if you have a Canva Pro account, you will be able to customize the movement of these animations. So this is why we have this little crown in here. And if you have a Canva free account and would love to try these features out, the Pro settings, we have a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in the description. Something that I I really like about this is that you can apply more than one motion effect or animation to your element. So at the moment I only have clicked on the rotate motion effect but if I wanted my element to rotate but also to flicker I can also select flicker and now pay attention because my flower or the element that I have selected is rotating but also having the flicker effect at the same time. Now let me show you a simple trick to apply these animations to all the flowers in my design with just a couple of clicks. I'm gonna drag my cursor all over my design to select all the elements. Now, all the elements in my design have been selected, but I don't want this comment shape, this bubble right here, and the text to have the same animation. I want this to be still. So I'm gonna press shift and then select the text box and this bubble right here. At the moment, I only have the flowers selected and then I'm simply going to click on rotate and then flicker if I want to have two animations at the same time. Because I have a Canva Pro account, I can use these sliders right here to customize the movement of the motion effects. To download your animation, click on share, then download. And from here, you can select either MP4 video or GIF. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can increase the quality of your animation. If not, just leave it as it is and then click download. Before we move on to the mobile Canva app, I want to show you a little idea because you can also apply these animations to presentations. Let me create a new presentation document. I'm going to go for this one. And for this design, you could apply an animation to this light bulb. Select the light bulb, go to animate. And I think for this one, we could use flicker or even pulse. I'm gonna go for flicker, reduce the speed, and then you could also apply another animation to the other elements present in your presentation. Do not go wild, do not add an animation to every single element on your presentation, but just a couple of them to make your presentation more dynamic. I'm gonna select this one and this one right here, and I'm gonna add a wiggle movement to them, and then I'm also going to reduce the intensity because I do want 
people to pay attention to what I am saying and not to pay attention to the movement in my presentation. So that's why I believe it is very valuable to have this option right here to be able to customize this motion effect. Now let me show you how this slide of my presentation looks like. I'm going to present on top of the screen and then I'm going to click on present. I want you to pay attention to the motion effects that I applied on this slide because they never stop moving. I really like this about these new motion effects because with the other animations that we have in Canva we will see the element moving just one time and then it stops but with the motion effects they never stop moving let me show you one more time I'm going back to my design I'm selecting the light bulb going to the animate button and I'm going to remove this flicker effect remove animation and now I'm going to add one of these animations that we have in here so let's say pop and then let's go back to present pay attention to the light bulb because this one is moving just one time it moved and then it stopped but the elements that we have in the corners they are still moving Now let me show you where to find these new motion effects from your mobile. I am using the Canva mobile app. I'm going to start by creating a new document and I'm going to search for an Instagram post and then I'm going to add the keyword neon because I believe this aesthetic goes really well with the motion effect called flicker. Once in the editor, select one of the elements from your design and then you will see that there is a menu that appears at the bottom of the screen. We're going to scroll to the left until we see the animate button. We will see the regular animation options in here but if we keep moving this little slider to the left we will reach motion effects and from here you will see the four new motion effects. To apply one of these effects to your element simply tap on the animation that you want to add. If you want to remove the animation that you just applied, simply tap again on the animation selected and tap remove animation. For this neon effect, I believe the animation that goes better is the flicker effect. And if you have a Canva Pro account and would like to customize the motion effect, click again on the animation that you selected and play around with the sliders and the buttons that you will see in there. To download your animation, click on the share icon on top of the screen, then tap download. From here, you can select MP4 or GIF. If you have a Canva Pro account and would like to increase the quality, you can do it from here and then tap download. If you enjoyed this tutorial, we have more videos like this one on our channel. And if you are into creating animations, I do recommend you watch this tutorial. And remember that we have a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. I'm gonna leave that link in here, but also in the description of this video. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.